In 2018, there were more than 19,000 victims of child abuse in South Carolina, and lawmakers are trying to decrease those numbers. So in the process of this, they have decided and discovered the need for stronger responses to these kind of cases. Our George Ree Godfrey has more information on a proposal aimed at creating a universal response. South Carolina is one of a few states that does not have a universal protocol for investigating child abuse cases. But now South Carolina lawmakers are hoping to create a committee to set those guidelines. It's unfortunate because I love the state and the state is such a wonderful place to raise a family. South Carolina ranked 11th in the nation in 2018 for the number of child abuse victims, a heartbreaking statistic for many lawmakers. It's really incumbent upon us to make sure that we are proactive and we're not going to be the worst state for domestic violence. We're not going to be the worst state for heart disease or lung disease or whatever it may be. And, and, and most importantly, for abuse and neglect cases. Both representatives and senators have filed the South Carolina Child Abuse Response Protocol Act. The act establishes a multidisciplinary committee to investigate and prosecute child abuse cases while creating universal protocol for all agencies to use in those investigations. We want everybody doing the same thing and everybody's following the same rules because, you know, sometimes you get, you know, this county's doing this and this county's doing something else. The proposal also allows the state to expand accreditation criteria for children's advocacy centers. The goal, have more advocates in the state serving South Carolina's most vulnerable population. So we can have more CACs across South Carolina to end more of the child abuse and neglect. So it's, you know, it's just making it broader for South Carolina and then more protection for our children. The Child Abuse Advisory Board would consist of 10 members, including law enforcement from both the state and county level, as well as the Department of Social Services. In Columbia, George Godfrey, 7 News. Other members on the advisory board would be a representative from the solicitor's office, a member from a school district, and a medical professional.